first we're taking a pot of boiling water with a teaspoon of salt and we're going to add our quinoa pasta for about five to six minutes. And I'm using organic ancient quinoa harvest super grain pasta for my spaghetti. And I can get this box for less than three dollars, about two dollars and forty seven cents I believe. Next I'm taking my quinoa and I'm adding it to boiling water. Now I'm taking three not beef bouillon cubes and I'm adding it to my boiling water. Now in the meantime, keep stirring it because the not beef bouillon cubes will cause the quinoa to cook faster and it will also cause the bottom of your pot to burn if you don't watch it. Okay, now we are ready to drain the pasta and set it aside for the marinara sauce. Mmm, the spaghetti is looking good to me. And your omnivore family members won't even be able to tell that it's gluten-free pasta. Now I'm going to add my vegan W sauce. You know I don't like saying that word. cumin, Italian seasoning, some ground black pepper, and some garlic. And I'm going to stir this. Make sure I get all the flavors meshed in there together real good. And now I'm going to add my Caribbean browning sauce. Now we don't put this in there to make it Caribbean. We put it in there because it makes the quinoa look like ground beef. You can find this in the ethnic, tropical, or Caribbean section of your grocery store. Most likely. Okay, just a little bit of that. Make it really look like ground, make it really look like ground beef. going to keep stirring, making sure that the pot doesn't burn. And I'm going to cook this for about five more minutes, putting the lid back on. Now, going back to this pot, I have my seasoning blends, which is just onions, green pepper, red pepper, and a little garlic with some parsley. So I'm stirring it around, and I'm going to keep cooking this until the onions are almost clear. Now, I've transferred my quinoa and seasoning blend mixture back to the big pot, and now I'm going to add my spaghetti sauce, or marinara, whichever one you decide to use. By the way, this is vegan-friendly spaghetti sauce. And today I'm using Newman's own marinara because I like my sauce nice and thick. And I'm going, to, I'm going to also use some strained tomatoes by Pony, which is vegan friendly. Kinda hard to stir with one hand. So I'm going to put this camera down and incorporate the sauce into the meat, the mock meat. So you pretty much know what to do after this. Okay, check out my sauce. It's nice and meaty in a vegan kind of way. Now another little thing I like to do is add a tad bit of agave. Doesn't matter if it's dark or light. I like to add a tad bit of agave to my spaghetti sauce mixture and stir it around. This is optional and you can add it to taste. And I added a little more veggie style. Also, a nice accompaniment with your pasta will be Parma Vegan Parmesan Cheese. Parma has no dairy, soy, gluten, GMO, or preservatives and is kosher friendly. You can get it at Whole Foods, Vegan Essentials, Vegan Store, and FoodFight.com also.